What's up YouTube welcome to our video in this video we will learn how we can create a CPM precedence diagram in Microsoft Visio 2019 and a CPM diagram can be drawn in two ways we will learn both ways so let's begin first we will create a blank diagram create So first we will create a simple precedence diagram which requires circles and some arrows. For the arrows we will type connect and search and it will give us these connections. Now I am gonna copy this and paste it out here. So it is the second activity and here is my third activity and now I will join them together so this is my arrow and by right clicking the arrow you can choose it to be a straight arrow if you want a straight arrow then uh, click the arrow and drag this point to this point of the circle and the other point to the other circle and this is how you create an arrow and now copy this arrow and paste it out now if you want the arrow uh, let's let's put uh, this activity over here now you want the arrow to come over here to come over here and from here so what you would do is you would choose the type of right angle connector and then you can put the arrow like this so there are several points which you can choose to change your arrows direction so I'm gonna put my arrow back over here and then for the text we would double click the circle and here is a text box created so I am typing A because the first activity would be called A and making it a little bigger so this is my activity A and same goes for activity B and activity C so these are my activities multiple arrows could be connected like this and to this point so multiple arrows can also be connected like the A is also referring to C and it is also referring to B so uh, basically C has uh, both predecessors A and B uh, if you want to move anything and uh, it is not moving you must select the pointer tool first and then you can move it over and and the arrows would be moved with the activity another thing is that if you want to change the uh, color of this uh, circle then right click it and from here you can change the color you can also choose which type of shadow you want so I am choosing the offset center and this will give it uh, the shadow and you can also give the shadow to the arrow by clicking it and go to the effects and shadows and now the uh, arrow also has the shadow and if you want to change the color of this text then just select it and change it from here and if you want some numbers uh, to be appear over uh, let's say bottom of this activity then then 
you must select the text and create a box over here and you can type anything like 45 so the activity a is 45 days long now the pointer tool and place it over here if you want to export this diagram then first go to the design and go to size fit to drawing this will fit your uh, image uh, according to your drawing the space you have occupied over here and now save the diagram into the desktop as drawing one you can save it as with your project or you can select PDF uh, PNG now it is asking for background color I am keeping it as white So here is our drawing. Here is our precedence diagram. Now if you want to add some more activities, uh, you want to expand uh, your uh, drawing, you can go again over here and make the size A4 again. And it would make your drawing bigger again and you can also select all these and put them over here and start adding the other activities let us save the project to so to save the project we have to select with your drawing and save it on the desktop now we will remove all this now we will create the advanced precedence diagram for that we will go into the more shapes and inside this schedule and part chart shapes this would add the uh, part chart shapes in our shapes list so from here we can drag this and You just click over here so the box is selected and then you click over the little box and start typing whatever you want and you can also like select this and then make it bigger now same goes for here select the box select the little box type whatever you want make it bigger And for the connector, we will use connect and these connectors. Now right click them and now we will use the curved connectors. So we can also use the curved connector. Copy this and paste it here. And this is how the curve connector works so you can curve it anywhere you want there are points over here so manipulating them would change the arrow into any direction so this is how these works and copy this paste this and we don't need any complex connector we just need a simple connector for this task so this is how you do it so this is how you make the complex precedence trigram and you can also change uh, the whole color of this by doing by selecting this and changing the color 
and you can change the color of each box by selecting the uh, little box and then changing the color and now we will come into the design section and we will select fit to drawing and then export our drawing so first as a project it's the second drawing and then export as a picture so PNG so here's our second drawing that's in it for the video thanks for watching and if you like the video press the like button and share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel and see you next time